Autobiotron and Condo in 2020, step by step. Hello friends, Yossi Kaplan here, Toronto Real Estate Agent and Mortgage Broker, Research Realty and Search Mortgage. And today I'm going to review for you the process, very simply, how to buy a condo in Toronto in 2020. A lot of people have been asking me, just give us the basics, like show us the process, how does it work? So let me show you. Uh, a quick uh, word about myself, Yossi Kaplan, Toronto Real Estate Agent Mortgage Broker, Urban Realty Toronto, my main site here. Find a lot of information posted through the years about condos, deals, assignments, all you want, and a lot of uh, good links at the bottom here. Explore them. Okay, uh, yossicapital.com, another one of my sites for investment. The Investor Insider Newsletter. Put your name, your email, your mobile, and you get some information that is not available anywhere else. Twitter.com slash yossicapital. All the news that fit the print goes right in here. And, of course, this video channel, youtube.com slash yossicapital. All the videos I've been posting. And thank you everyone very, very much for subscribing, liking, keep up the good work, commenting. This is great. Okay, so how to buy a condo in 2020 and what are the steps? I got a cheat sheet here for you. This will be posted down below too, so you can always look at it with all the links that you need. And the first thing we need to do when we're going to buy anything is really to know what we're going to buy and how much is available for us. Now, with the, with the thing about real estate, we really have to start with how much is available to us. We need to know. And the most important thing to understand, and this is like very high level overview, but the most important thing you need to always remember, never forget, that the total available, the cost, the price, the money you have to have in, has got three components. The first component is your deposit. What's your cash available right now for deposit, okay? The second component is the mortgage, the loan you're going to take, assuming that you're not buying the whole thing cash. And the third component is the closing costs, which you have to have ready and on closing, okay? So that's your budget. Once you have your budget, you can go shopping. Now, in order to get your budget, the easiest thing to do, what most people do, they go to a mortgage broker like myself. So this is the uh, site for search mortgage, uh, where I am registered and licensed, okay? And this is my page here, search mortgage slash Jesse Kaplan. So myself or another mortgage broker or your banker, can basically do the calculation for you and tell you how much money you have available, okay? So they're going to look at your financial situation, how much money you have, do you have any debts, do you have any loans, uh, do all these numbers like GDS, TDS, we're not going to get into it right now, but the end, the end of the day, and it doesn't take very long, you're going to come up and give you a number. Uh, Mr. K, you got 500000 available, you have a million dollars available, you have $2 million available, whatever your budget is, that is the budget you can go shopping. So that's step number one. Step number two is what and where to buy. Okay, so now that I know uh, the amount of money I have, total available to me, I can start shopping. Okay, so uh, the first thing before I go shopping is like, what do I want? What do I need? Okay, so define your needs. Like, what is that you're looking for? And that could be a pure investment, you know, a condo you're buying. You're buying like one of these here. You're buying with the intention of renting it out. I'm just going to keep it, rent it out, let someone else pay the mortgage, the condo fees, and tax for me. I'm going to sit on it for 5 or 10 or 20 years. And the end of the process, I'm going to have basically a condo to my name. All I paid for it was the deposit, the closing costs, and someone else hopefully with a positive cash flow pay for the whole thing. And I come back after 10 years, and that thing uh, hopefully is, is you know at least twice or maybe more the price. And I leveraged the money, and I did a great investment. Somebody else paid for it, and now I got a bit of a pension in my hand. And a lot of people that buy in these type of condos are families, uh, and people are basically buying as if it was pension, okay? I'm going to have an asset. I'm going to have a cash flow asset, and that's what I'm going to do with it, okay? So that's the, that's the thing. Now, you may want to buy a condo, maybe in the same building, maybe elsewhere. It doesn't matter that you want to live in. In that case, your needs are going to be slightly different because once you, once you want to live in a condo, you know that... Maybe you need a one plus den. Maybe you need two bedrooms. Maybe you want a lot of sunlight. Maybe you don't want a lot of sunlight. So the 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 uh, what you go uh, through the process of to understand your needs is slightly different. Okay, you may care more about your own personal needs rather than uh, make the unit the best ROI possible. Okay, um, go back to my list here. Select your desired unit. So how many bedrooms? How many baths? Uh, what kind of size unit? What kind of exposure? Parking lot or amenities? And of course, the area you want you want to be in. Okay, so um, you know, units come in all shapes and sizes. Uh, they can be small, they can be large, they can be up, they can be down, they can be facing one or four directions or two directions. They can have one bedroom or studio or two bedroom. So together with your budget, once you understand your budget, you're going to start looking at the areas and the type of unit, and you're going to come to an understanding. For example, 
I want to buy, um, I have so much money and I know that's enough to buy a OnePlus Den downtown. That's my focus. So that's great. Now you get your focus and you can start finding that OnePlus Den downtown. Or maybe you want to buy a townhome in Niagara. Uh, and in that case, you're going to start looking at Niagara area. So that's your area and the type of unit you want to buy. And these two together are going to help you zone in on what you want. A lot of investors, um, they're all over the place and they just, don't have a proper budget, they just don't do the exercise, and then they're all over the place, and they don't know what they buy, and they jump around, and you can see they don't have a very good focus, and that usually, when you don't have the focus, you don't know the budget, and you don't know what you want to buy, and where you're going to buy it, you know, you're just going to end up chasing your own tail, it's not going to happen, so um, another thing good to do, you can always put uh, one of my newsletter here, information for investors, you can go in here, and basically put your name, your, uh, your email, your name and mobile, and you start getting the information through the email and kind of review these things, okay? More information comes on a Twitter, on the YouTube. There's a lot of ways to find information, but this is where you do the research. This is where you do the research for yourself, like what can I afford, which really doesn't take very long to do. Even if you want just, just a rough estimate, you can do it literally within a few minutes. Just, you know, pick up the phone, give me a call, and I can... The basics we can do over the phone. And then, of course, you have to do the uh, mortgage application. Apply. Go right there. And you can start your process right there, how to apply. There's various applications. Okay? And then you can go start shopping. So how do you shop? You go to torontocondosforsale.com or you go to condos.ca or realtor.ca. All these sites, they aggregate sites to take the information from MLS and from other sources, some of them, not all. And they're going to show you what's available. In this case, this site uh, does three things, and these are the three things you want to focus on. I hope I'm not going too fast here. Um, and that's, I'm going to jump to step number three, finding a condo, and you have three options, okay? So you can search for construction, which are condos that have not been built yet, okay? V they're called VIP, Platinum Pre-Construction. Uh, there's resale condos which exist. They're registered. They, they're deeded already, and you can, you're literally buying from another person. The first option you buy from developer, and you search assignments, an assignment you buy from someone who bought from developer but hasn't closed on it yet. Okay, so uh, I'll give you a few options to look at these. If you want to buy, uh, say, a resale, something that exists in already, uh, it's the most common one, it's the easiest one, and also it has less uh, closing costs than the other options. Uh, you go here, go on the menu, and go to residential search. Residential search, say Toronto. So I got one here, Toronto, and I just hit the search. That's going to give me everything in the system, and from there, I'm going to start coming down using all the filters in the system and see what's available to me. Or, oh, you know, that that looks pretty good to me, this unit 799, and just start getting the information one by one by one and familiarize yourself with units, with what people are asking for, how much you can get for it, and of course you can do a search for sold units or you can ask me to help you. Man, it's a little slow today. Um, you'll see what is sold in the Merton Street, Young and Merton area. What is sold downtown? What's selling on King West? How much, uh, what are the values you see right now on the resale? How much are coming in or out? Okay, there's, there's a lot of stuff. There's about maybe 100,000 units a year selling in Toronto and, and, the, and, and uh, the GTA. Uh, this is, I'm just focusing this map on Toronto alone. But there's so much stuff going on. There's just so, so much stuff. You have so many options uh, to buy. These are the rentals. You've got to scroll a bit to get the sales. It just it just endless, okay? You can put a minimum price here, by the way. Uh, so let's say I'll put um, from 300 plus, and now you only get uh, the sales. There's no rentals at this price, and you can start zooming in, okay? On and on and on, it's endless, okay? The map will populate. So that is when you look at the resale. So you just scroll in and in and in, and then you can look at the resale. There's unit here, 700,000. That's a Blue Jays way. King at Spadina, basically, at the Bisha. And you can see what's available there. And you can start looking at these units. Okay. Um, the next step here is, so that was the resale. Okay. If you want to look at pre-construction, you can go to the same site, uh, torontocondosforsale.com, and hit projects in Toronto, or you can just search uh, re, uh, pre-construction from here. Okay. I'm just going to hit this one. And you're going to get a page. And depending on the sort, right now it's by posted, but you can you can change this and sort around. So for example, untitled condo uh, that just came available, so it's on the system. Put your name, your email, your phone, 
and are you a realtor or a buyer and I will send you the information available for this unit okay you can also register that's a famous one because there was a like a rapper rock star that did a song for this thing or whatever but you can get some information here about the unit it's a huge project 750 units there's two towers here and you can get you can see where it is it's Jagan Eglinton fantastic location so you know you may want to consider this and then you're going to go and basically register and say you'll see you know my budget from step one is 700,000 uh, I have 20% uh, deposit available I have 30% deposit available what can you find me I'm interested in I title condos or any other one what can you find me and then that is the search and there's so many of these that is a search for re for um, reconstruction okay now some buildings in this category are brand new just came up some buildings already been on the market and some buildings are just closing the sales in any step of that in any stage of this many steps there are opportunities there are incentives now if you're gonna walk into the sales center for the condo you're gonna get the retail price okay when you walk into the store you get the maximum price because your captive audience come on here's a cup of coffee and you're gonna pay full price however if you're on a mailing list you can get the discounted price which cannot be advertised because if you advertise you cannibalize in the developer themselves so that's how the system works in Toronto if you come with a VIP agent it's called a platinum agent pre-construction agent such as myself or many others in town we can get you a better deal and it's it could be if it's a sold out project we can get you in the door with the VIP um, incentives if it's uh, during the sale there's always some kind of an incentive that you, we can get you or maybe a unit is not advertised we can find you if it's the end sale, there are usually all kinds of assignments and inve uh, uh, incentives and deals that you can get. Now, the better the better you are known uh, in in the uh, industry, the better like I'm talking about agents like myself, the better chances you have of, of getting a better deal. So it's good to call uh, an experienced realtor that is specializing, for example, like myself in this pre-construction downtown and the whole downtown condo investment game analysis in order to get the best deals so that is very important the human connection here is very very important a lot of people you know especially these days nobody want to talk do everything on the computer but at the end of the day in order to get the deal you have to have a bit of human connection so connect to the expert uh, give me a call and I'll tell you what's available and we can of course do all the steps here and help you analyze uh, what what budget you need or which budget available to you and then zoom in on the area on a type of unit on maybe right on the building and find that unit you want this is usually how we do the best deals we just work very systematically through the steps okay uh, the last stage here within uh, number three to find the condo so we looked at pre-construction on torontocondosforsale.com we looked at resale and we can also look at assignments there's many ways to find assignments and those are usually the least advertised ones so they're the hardest to come by but there are a few options are posted but most of them, I'm just going to email them to you. If I get an email, say, send me all the assignments you have, I'm not going to do it because they change very rapidly. I'm usually these people that haven't done the homework yet. They just, I'm just looking. So if you're just looking, register and get the emails and, and learn how to invest. There's a lot of information can come to you, like uh, these listings here. Another way to find, I'm just going to step back. Uh, if you hit any of these listings updated 24 7 takes you to my other system yossi.searchrealty.co which is connected to search uh, realty and from here you can also find uh, various information on units that are available for sale uh, as resale assignments and sometimes uh, some pre-construction is this list so to find an assignment go to that so i was here at listing updated uh, but if you find the assignments only click on this assignment link here there's other link i'll show you in a second but that's one option and then you can click here and see, oh, that's pretty good. So I got some units here available for 29.9, 251 Jarvis. Okay, that's great. But I got another one. When I go to uh, torontocondosforsale.com, I'll, I'll do it right from the beginning. So here's the main page. Uh, go to residential search. Okay, zoom in on your city, let's say Toronto. And then in the keyword, put the keyword assignment. Assignment. Hopefully I spelled it right and search and it'll bring you at all the listings that have the keyword assignments in them and there are about 60 or 70 in this list you can see here and you can start scrolling and look at the assignments and as i said assignments somebody bought from the developer in the pre-construction but now they want to flip it back to someone else before closing okay a uh, lot of video about assignments if you want to learn more about assignments a lot of opportunities there 
You'll see Kaplan, actually you can go in my channel also and just assignment or you'll see Kaplan up. Assignment. Let me spell, but it doesn't matter. It'll correct for me. You get a lot of assignment here. Okay, so anything they have had the assignment or come here. So you can learn that. Okay, so these are assignments. Um, sending your offer. So once I've I found a condo that I like and I say, you know, um, I want to buy this one here. I call my real estate agent. I call Yossi. I say, Yossi, request info. Hit the send button. Send it to Yossi. Obviously, there's not going to be a showing uh, in this one if it's not if, if it's not uh, occupant, occupant yet. And here it says, for example, occupancy of February 13, 2020. So it's not February 13, 2020 yet. When I'm recording this video, it's still January. So in this case, you can walk in, but you can buy from paper, from plan, just like the original um person that bought this unit did. Now you can see in this one they didn't even post a, a floor plan so that's kind of a lazy posting but ask me I'll get to the floor plan all the information what they pay for it how much deposit they put what do they owe on it they get any discounts and incentives uh, any upgrades all these things we have to bring into consideration and then we're gonna buy the assignment so we can buy the assignment from these people or we can buy a resale condo from the developer or we can buy uh, um, uh, sorry we can buy a pre-sale from developer or resale from another uh, seller. Okay, these are the three options. The three options that you had here, okay, pre-construction, resale, and assignment. These are the three uh, the three options you can send the offer. You can send the offer pre-construction, which is really you fill the form and it works with the developer. The resale is your typical regular most used form, and the assignment is a special process for assignment. How to buy the assignment? Okay, so send your offer. Get a good realtor. You need someone that understands, ask the realtor, have you done assignments before? Um, what have you done? Give me some examples of where you've done assignments. Just ask them a couple of questions to see that they're, they're okay with the material. Um, or if you buy in resale, have you done those before? Just talk to them a little bit, pre-construction, same thing. Um, I've done a lot of each. You know, it takes, it takes after a few years, you, can, you kind of get the information, you get the uh, knowledge, which is great. Get a good lawyer now. All lawyers are good, but some lawyers are very resistant to real estate. They're still very old school. They don't understand how Toronto real estate works. And a lot of lawyers, especially, do not understand assignments. So before you rush to buy an assignment, um, you know the assignment, you get the deal, everything seems to be good. The lawyer is a make it or break it because a lot of lawyers, when you come to assignments, don't understand. They're scared of them. They're, they're afraid of them. So ask them, have you done assignments before? What are your thoughts of assignments? Are you assignment positive or you don't like them? If they have an emotional resistance to assignment, it's probably better to interview another lawyer until you find a lawyer that feels comfortable with the job. Because throughout the years, I have a lot of lawyers that just didn't know what to do with assignments or just say, oh, it's not, a good, it's not a good investment. But you look around, you see a lot of people buying them. Obviously, it works. So watch for that. And of course, get a, get, get a great mortgage broker that can help you close the deal. I recommend Search Mortgage. And I hear there's a great mortgage uh, guy there named Yossi Kaplan. <laughs> uh, but, you know, anyone, anyone's good. Okay, closing. This is the last step. Uh, you got to prepare the fund. So that goes back to that first uh, set your budget. Okay, and now you have your funds prepared because you got all the pre-mortgage um, approval and you know the money is available. And the lawyer and the mortgage broker are working together to make sure that the funds go where they need to go on time. Uh, then... If you're closing, if you are flipping a unit, that means you're buying a flip unit. Um, you buy, um, then there's maybe a few other steps you want to make sure that you do with your lawyer. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get into the tiny, tiny details. You just give you like an overview, and of course, move it in, rent to uh, or renting your unit. If you bought the unit and you're gonna close on it and you're gonna live on your unit, that's one thing. Or you want to rent it out, that's a bit of a different process. You can see how. Each point here is really open to a process by itself. The budget is one process. Uh, defining where I want to be and what I want to be, that's a process within the large one. The search for that unit is one. Sending the offer, negotiating is one. And of course, closing, moving the funds, closing on the unit. And there's a different close if it's pre-construction, resale, or assignment, right? You're buying from developer, you're buying a flip, or you're buying a resale. And of course, what are you going to do with the unit? Are you going to move in yourself or are you going to put a tenant in? Okay, 
So that is, my friends, a very tip of the iceberg of the process of buying a condo in Toronto in 2020. Uh, to summarize, you can buy pre-construction from the developer. You can buy assignment somebody who bought pre-construction and flip it. They flip it to you. Or you can buy an existing unit on the open market uh, from another person. Yossi Kaplan here, Toronto Real Estate Agent Mortgage Broker. All questions are welcome. All comments are welcome. Thank you, everyone, very, very much. I hope this video was useful to you. And if you need any more videos, you have any questions, just post them below. I'll do my best to answer in the next video. Take care. That's it.